Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the DGA Quake. This is an overstable mid-range, numbers 5303. I've kind of been on a kick lately for those overstable mid-ranges. I did a review of the Axiom Pyro a month ago. So if you're curious about that disc, go check that video out. Jump right into a few holes with this disc, see if it's the one for you. All right, 268 foot par three, has the hook left at the end, should be a great hole for the Quake. Nice. That's a beaut. Absolute beaut. All right, this is a 234 foot par three, kind of goes up, then back down, hooks to the left. Again, lines up pretty nicely for the quake. Yeah, that'll be a good spot. All right, maybe like a 25 footer here. Oh, wow. Air ball. There we go. So as far as hand feel goes, these discs are extremely similar. When comparing to the Pyro and the MD5, they all are almost the exact same height. All three are board flat, makes it really good for backhand and forehand. I get super clean releases. The biggest thing that changes between these three discs is just the bottom of the rim. You have the Pyro, which is definitely the most concave of the three rims, whereas the MD5 is much less concave. It almost has like a flat diagonal angle between the edge of the wing and the bottom of the rim. And the Quake kind of fits in between those. It's definitely a concave rim, similar to the Pyro, but a little bit less concave. So that's just something to keep in mind in case that is a factor that you consider for your reversible discs. All right, 322 foot par three, definitely not really a quake hole. You have to really hang it out straight the entire time and have it just fade a little, little bit. Um, we're gonna throw the quake on this anyways, see how it goes. A little bit of ante on that and look, it comes back hard. Now I have been throwing this guy for a few weeks now just to test it out. It does get a lot of skip typically, makes it really good for those like approach shots that really need to hook hard. I really like having a lot of skip in my overstable mid-range approach style disc, so that fits perfectly. All right, guys, this is a 441 foot hole. Not sure if it plays as a par three or par four. Should be a par four, but requires a hook to the left after about 250 feet. Then it goes straight for a while. This is another hole, pretty good for the quake. Yep, that's gonna hook really nicely. That's gonna put me in a great spot. That's got that stability. And if you're looking for an overstable mid-range disc, why don't you go check out this video's sponsor, Grow and Throw. That's growandthrow.shop online or just right here in Columbia, Missouri if you're in town. They have a bunch of disc golf stuff. Highly recommend them, growandthrow.shop. All right, now we're actually gonna throw the Quake versus the Pyro and the MD5. All right, this is a 300 foot par three. Gotta make it through this gap. Probably gonna try to put out pretty flat, maybe a little bit of Anheuser, get a little flex. Pin is deep. Left has to hook to be in a good spot. Start out with the quake. There we go. Nice little skip. Let's go, Metal Flake MD5. And that has a really aggressive fade to it. And Pyro. Yeah, that guy. Wow. All right, we're gonna take this from where the Quake landed, which is about 25 feet in front of the MD5 and 30 feet in front of the Pyro. Nice. All right, guys, decided to take it out to the field. It is a bit windy out here today, maybe like a 12 mile an hour right to left crosswind. Now these are great wind fighters. I feel like there are a lot of reasons why a person might get, there's someone screaming back there. And I feel like a lot of people would get Quake because they want something for those headwinds. Should be a good showcasing out here. All right, we're gonna start by just trying to throw these pretty flat, controlled. I'm not trying to like whip these out here as far as I can. Just a nice controlled shot, see how far they go. Start with the Quake. See, that has a ton of glide. I released that pretty flat. 
and it got out there pretty good before fading left. Let's compare that to the MD5. I mean, that thing, when it starts fading, is gone. And let's go pyro. Yeah, that's got some nice fade to it. So I measured those guys. Quake went the furthest, like 295 feet. We had the MD5 at like 280, then the Pyro, which I got on a little bit more, and he had a little bit more flex to it. That one was in the middle at like a two, like high 280s. Now we're just gonna throw the Quake on a bunch of different lines, see how it holds up. Let's start with some Annie. Yeah, juicer out there. All right, measured that one with Udisc at about 305. And distance is definitely not my strong point. So the fact that I'm getting a pretty overstable disc out that far, pretty happy with that. Let's do some hyzers. Oh yeah, all the dependability in the world. All right, this time I'm gonna try to do more of like a spike hyzer, higher up, crash down. All right, time for the vaunted lefty shot. Not exactly what I would call good form. I got out there. Yep. So point is quake is an awesome disc. I highly recommend it. While it is very, very similar to the Pyro and the MD5, it does have some key differences. And this one is probably my preference of the three, though I could get by with any of the three. Ultimately, there's so many variables that it does come down to personal preference. So if you throw the Pyro, the MD5, or some other overstable mid-range disc, why don't you let me know down in the comments? I'd appreciate that. Might try to check out some more, do some more reviews. I didn't even really talk about the plastic on this guy, but these Tour Series just have really nice plastic, really bendable. Also, it's pretty wet out here today, and I never felt like my grip was compromised. High praise for these DGA 2023 Tour Series discs. I haven't tried out the 2024 Tour Series plastics yet, but I hope to soon, so stay tuned for that. And I really appreciate that you guys watch till the end. It means a ton to me. Go like and subscribe if you haven't already. That also means a lot to me. Go check out this video's sponsor, Growing Throw, growingthrow.shop. And as always, I'll see you next time.